In this video, I drank a gallon of water every day for a week. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this quarantine, I actually gained 10 pounds. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Actually, I can because I ate too much and didn't exercise that much and my routine has been quite sluggish. So this 2021, I'm thinking of losing weight without the crazy diets. In this video, you're going to see results and tips how to drink a gallon every day for a week. Please join my journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button. Day one, I was super, super excited for this one. Top of the morning, it's my first day for this gallon water a day i tell you what i did this before i didn't make it i stopped at three days i needed to go out a lot so right now is a good time to stay indoors and do this seven day one gallon of water this is the bottle of water that i use for this challenge it's amazing because it's one gallon it i forget how much i got it but i'll check it out um, I got it from Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate and I have an Amazon influence program So I will put down the link in my description and also in the comments in case you want this bottle joy gallon of water I really like it because it has this timer. It starts at 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I mean you don't really have to follow it. I know everyone wakes up and sleeps like different times. later on you will see how many times I went to the loo as I counted it in day five or six, I think. On day two, I was still pretty excited about it. But I know that it, this is a difficult test. Like, I'm not a drinker, especially on winter. But summer, I might drink a lot. Good thing I'm in South California, so the weather is still pretty good. It, we're still at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I have some tips for you later on how to drink a gallon of water every day for this challenge. Actually, I forgot to weigh in myself yesterday. So... Day 2 is the time that I did it. I weighed at 121.6 pounds this day and my body fat is 19%. I think the body fat is wrong because I don't think my body is 19%. I actually researched what a 19% body fat would be for women and that is now me. <laughs> But on day 7, you will see my true body fat content. My waistline is 27 inches on day 2. And later on on day 7, you will see the end results of how my waistline would be. I am on day 3 and it's quite overwhelming. This is my routine every day. I get up, of course, and I drink this right away. Go to the loo and then work some more. I work in my laptop all day. I'm pretty grateful that I can stay all day in my place for this challenge. I don't need caffeine because like, I'm a morning person. So, and then after work, I would do my routine for my hamstring because I kind of mess it up. And now I have a, a set of routine for my hamstring to strengthen it. This takes about 30 to 35 minutes. So it's good right before brunch. I don't take brekkie as I've said. I go straight to brunch. So I don't have to prepare my breakfast and then a separate lunch. It saves me a lot of time and gives me a lot of time for work and some other stuff. After brunch, I go back to work. I go to a different location for work and sometimes I would snack. My snacks will depend on my mood. This week it has been popcorn and sometimes it will be ch chips or cheese. Like it doesn't really matter. I should definitely change that into fruits maybe but fruits has a lot of sugar i'm in this journey and i'm being truthful for my everyday routine so that's it in the afternoon i would probably take a walk or like do a grocery depends on what i'm feeling that day on day four my excitement weighed down and this is such a test still i'll tell you what the problems are a gallon of water every day is very overwhelming and as i drink i feel this bubble in my head i don't know what that is i feel a little bit of nausea but it's just water so everything that you have you just flush it out so i'm not really that scared a gallon of water is very very ha hard to finish i feel kind of bloated and going to the loo is such a hassle i definitely couldn't go out for an hour or two because i would need the loo if i go out 
and then today is like pandemic so like going to the public loo is kind of scary for me this is okay if you're traveling only for 30 minutes um, I was able to hold it an hour like on day three before and like I needed to go to the grocery and that was it but don't worry I have tips for you towards the end on day five I actually became an expert on drinking this water of gallon every day for a week at 7 a.m. I would just gallop a bunch of water like you know before I was just sipping it and just trying to like drink a lot of it and now I, didn't, I don't even have to I would just drink a bunch of it at a time like like maybe every like 15 minutes so it's not such a hassle and I put it right beside me I just drink a lot all the time and yes I still have to go to the loo and today is the day that we're gonna count how many times I peed <laughs> It's 7.30 right now and so far, I've been to 13. I've been to the loo for 13 times. It's almost 12 midnight right now and I think that is my last pee. Or maybe there's one more, I'm not sure. But I'm ending with 17 times that I have to be today. Day on day six, I'm still going for it. I'm not giving up. I'm staying at home and peeing a lot for food. Yes, I didn't diet at all for this challenge. I ate a bunch. I ate pizza. I ate popcorn. I ate chips. I ate spam for breakfast. I ate corned beef. I ate Indian cuisine. I even ate cake at the start of this challenge. I ate a lot this week. Well drinking this hey we're here now in day seven so exciting and this is my result I lost a pound <laughs> I know it's not enough for a week you think you'd lose like six pounds but then my waistline I lost it like I think uh, an inch and a half I was 27.5 or 27 I forget but I'm now at 26 inch so I feel that the weight is okay like I'm not trying to lose so much weight i'm trying to lose fat and losing an inch on the waist is very good for me and you also get all this joy from drinking a lot of water like clear skin like under eye like i think i'm better like with my under eye i feel like more clear and i feel like i went on a detox even though i didn't really like purge myself maybe i would improve more on my diet and think more of what i eat and drink a lot of water i have three tips for you to do this seven day challenge first of all have a gallon of water it will be easier for you and then just start early and that would be good for you drink as much as, as you can as early as possible and be near a toilet yeah because you will pee a lot of course you're clearing out all those toxins in your body and clearing out all those water that you drank as well this is my takeaway for this challenge I know that one pound of weight is not much to do so much effort on it I think I should work on my diet and like schedule like food like what am I gonna eat maybe not so strict on it but you know not overwhelming I was eating cakes and chocolates during the week and yeah so i'm not surprised that i didn't lose that much weight but the benefit of losing that one inch waistline is so good i probably will stop drinking a gallon of water every day from this day because it's very very hard for me but what i will do is drink a lot of water two or three liters a day and probably be religious on walking i'm still doing my pt for my hamstring so i probably won't add as much workout for now this 2021 journey is quite slow for me but it's okay my goal is just to lose like probably a pound or two a month hopefully i get to have a strong body by summer so there you go that's a gallon a day every day for a week challenge for you please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button